Game Week 35 was a tough one for FPL managers as an average of 30 points across six game weeks might have resulted in some lopsided tables. The team of the week saw four City players as Pep Guardiola's men romped to a 5-0 win against Manchester City, the two Silvas and Raheem Sterling starring. Three Arsenal men were also in the thick of things, and they deserve a mention as well, even a section to themselves. Lacazette, Ramsey and Monreal, less unpredictables The record signing of Arsenal Football Club, Alex Lacazette has what many would describe as a sobering first season, not setting the Premier League on fire with a return of 13 goals which may still be added to. Lacazette, Ramsey and Monreal are among the top four scorers for Arsenal in the league this season, with the Frenchman having a clear lead at the top. Yet, you might think, 13 goals at 10.2, not worth it. It is important to remember that after the arrival of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Lacazette has been forced to share time with the Frenchman and the increased competition might have spurred the French international into action, as he has four in his last four. For Ramsey, a goal and an assist last weekend meant that the midfielder equaled his best-ever seasonal tally of nine assists, a reasonable return considering the struggles of the club this season. Finally, for Monreal to get five goals from left-back is outstanding and it puts the Spaniard only behind Marco Alonso in the goal-getting defenders list. His sixth season in the Premier League has been his most productive one by far. Perez, Milojovic, Pope, the best of the rest Ios Perez has crossed the 100 FPL points for the first time in his Premier League, done at the third attempt. Newcastle are on the verge of a top-half finish, both incredible if you look at where both Perez and the club stood at the halfway mark. The 24-year-old Spaniard is also their top scorer for the season with five goals but three of those and two assists have arrived in the last four weeks of the campaign. It was also his 12-point effort against Arsenal, which prompted more tags of Another who has excelled in the lower reaches of the Premier League is Serb Luka Milivojevic, as he has scored 10 goals for Crystal Palace, making him the fifth-highest goal-scoring midfielder this season, a remarkable achievement considering the quality of the men below him in the list, David Silva, Leroy Sane, Anthony Marshall, Kevin De Bruyne. Penalty duties have helped his FPL tally and his team as he leads Wolf Zaha by three clear goals. It has been quite the breakout season for Nick Pope as well. The Burnley goalkeeper, originally drafted in as a replacement for the injured Tom Heaton, has managed 10 clean sheets. If you had told Pope before the campaign that he would be the third highest FPL point scorer after David De Gea and Ederson, he would certainly have unfriended you on Facebook for making a terrible joke at his expense. As it stands, Pope will just miss out on the plane to Russia but Gareth Southgate knows he can do better than selecting the woeful Joe Hart. Sun Young Min King Watch Out Japan, England is the land of the rising sun. The Tottenham forward bagged his third Asian Player of the Year award in as many years and it is no mean feat considering how many folks live in Asia, I'm looking at you, India and China. Tottenham's last four opponents Watford, West Brom, Newcastle and Leicester are kind, Sun might not be so. Three of those are at home and all but three of Sun's goals have come at White Hart Lane, so expect him to pump in a few more. Fast closing in on his best-ever seasonal return of 174 points, he is also one man from whom Harry Kane cannot take his goals away. Captain Kane, desperate to get his shoe back in hindsight, you can see why Harry Kane tried to claim that goal. The Premier League has not seen an unexpected performance of this magnitude since Kevin Phillips banged in 30 for Sunderland. Salah is like the new girl at school, who all the pretty boys and the punters fell for, ignoring old Harry. One of the boys, real, is very likely to shop around in the market after offloading at least on Gareth Bale or Kareem Benzema and Harry would have been near the top of that shopping list, until Salah rudely butted in. The Egyptian is on 31, and we still recommend you put your blind faith in the pharaoh but Kane at 25 is raging. He wants his golden boot back, and four games might be too little a time for a six goal swinging. Harry will strive to be prom queen, nonetheless. Updated date, April 27, 2018, 10.22 p.m.